In this video, we're going to discuss pose estimation with high resolution stereo vision in a real world experiment and discuss a deep learning technique to accelerate 3D point cloud generation in the context of automated aerial refueling. In this clip, we see AFIT's pose estimation pipeline in action in a ground experiment specially designed to mimic an aerial refueling scenario. On the top corners of the screen, you can see the real images taken from our experiment using high resolution 4896 by 3264 cameras. The yellow points are the 3D point cloud generated by our computer vision pipeline from the camera system. The red points are a 3D model of what we expect the pseudo receiver cart to look like as a point cloud. The black and white model is the truth location from a differential GPS truth system. This video has been sped up to replay in real time. Note that as the receiver gets closer, the point cloud becomes cleaner and more distinct, and the registration becomes more precise. In the rest of this video, we'll give a quick overview of automated aerial refueling. Next, we'll discuss the stereo vision pose estimation pipeline that you've just seen in action. We explain how high resolution cameras improve accuracy for long range pose estimation and show some example point clouds. Finally, we'll show a deep learning solution using a convolutional neural network to accelerate this process. Automated aerial refueling, or AAR, is autonomously controlling tanker and receiver aircraft through the approach, connection, refueling, and breakaway process. To perform AAR, we first need a precise, accurate pose estimate with error consistently less than 10 centimeters. Once we have a relative pose estimation, we then need control logic to automate the process. In this video, we focus on the pose estimation problem. To estimate the receiver's pose using a pre-calibrated stereo camera system, we use the following pipeline. First, we capture a stereo image pair where the stereo camera system is viewing the receiver. Next, we use the stereo block matching algorithm to generate a disparity map. The disparity map gives us the information on the depth of each pixel from the stereo camera system. We convert the disparity map into a 3D point cloud by reprojecting the depth map into 3D space. Once we have a 3D point cloud, we use the iterative closest point algorithm, or ICP, to register the receiver's pose. The images here show pose registration at a range of 30 meters using a low resolution camera system and a high resolution camera system in the post-processing environment that we just saw at the beginning of this video. Notice how the low resolution cameras create a noisy point cloud and a poor registration, while the high resolution cameras produce a clean point cloud and a precise registration. Here is a side view of the same pose registration we just examined. We can see that the error in our pose estimation, taken as the Euclidean distance between the differential GPS solution and the stereo vision pipeline solution, is substantially lower for the high resolution system. But what's the disadvantage? Stereo block matching, the algorithm we use to generate the disparity map, takes much longer to execute on high resolution stereo image pairs. This means that while we have an enormous increase in accuracy, we also have a large increase in our computational complexity. How can we get the benefits of high resolution stereo imagery without the increased computational cost? In nature, biological predators have eyes with small, ultra high resolution fovea and a low resolution periphery. Drawing inspiration from this, we created a convolutional neural network, or CNN, that can dynamically crop the stereo images so that we only perform stereo block matching on the region of interest. The network was trained on simulated imagery from our 3D virtual world. This gives us the improved stereo vision pipeline shown here. As before, we first capture the stereo image pair. Next, we use our custom CNN to dynamically crop the stereo image pair. We then only generate a disparity map and 3D point cloud for the region of interest where the receiver is located and register its pose using ICP. On the left, we can see the base pipeline generating a 3D point cloud in the virtual world. On the right, we can see the CNN cropping the stereo images to accelerate the point cloud generation process. Generating the point cloud with the improved process is 11.2 times faster than the base pipeline.
When running the full pose estimation pipeline in the virtual world, we can see that using our CNN augmented pipeline does not appreciably change the error with the given camera system. This means that we can gain the huge speed up from the augmented stereo vision pipeline without losing any of the precision gains we get from using a better camera system. Thanks for watching, and thank you to our sponsor, AFRL Aerospace Systems.